the big new update for Marvel Spider-Man 2 is finally here. We were scared for a little moment there, at least I was, because right when it hit 11 a.m. Eastern, there was an update, but it turns out it was only for the Fresh and Fly suit pack. I honestly thought for a second there that this update was glitching out or something was going on and we maybe had to wait like the whole day for something. It turns out that they were rolling out two updates today. One of them was to patch in the Fresh and Fly suit pack. And then also, you know, they added the free new suits being the Hellfire Gala suits for Peter and Miles. They look pretty damn sweet in my personal opinion. And then just a couple of minutes after that, then the actual update ended up dropping. It's about three and a half gigs. It's not too big at all. And that's the one that comes with New Game Plus and all the extra stuff. And believe me, there is quite a bit packed into this update. Some stuff they did not mention that I'm going to go over here with you guys. There are some hidden features that you will definitely miss out on if you're not looking closely enough. And I know you guys are hyped for the drop of New Game Plus. This basically feels like DLC coming to the game. So scroll down and hit that thumbs up button if you're excited. Okay, first things first, as soon as you boot up the game, if you have a save where you have beaten the game, it's going to give you the option to now start a New Game Plus save. And it's really, really Really easy just scroll over that completed save hit square to create a new game plus save and you can jump right in and get started what i will note though if you want that opening cutscene to have specific suits for peter and miles make sure you go into the save where you have beaten the game select whatever suits for peter and miles that you want to see in the opening cutscene and then start your new game plus save. So for instance, for me, I wanted Peter to have the classic symbiote suit, not the one that they actually created from Insomniac, but the actual just classic symbiote costume with the purple shading. And then for Miles, I wanted him to have the nullified suit for that opening cutscene. So I selected those suits in my 100% completion save, jumped into new game plus, and boom, there the suits were in the opening mission. And honestly, it's a ton of fun jumping back into the game on New Game Plus. This opening mission is so much fun. It is one of my favorite missions in the entire game. I love the way they start this game off. And it's a lot better now. You know how you have the web wings. They got all those enhanced traversal mechanics so you can move extra fast. You can get straight to the boss fight right away and it is just cool for me seeing peter in his symbiote suit seeing miles in his nullified symbiote suit facing off against a giant freaking sandman and i know a lot of you guys are also wondering how exactly are you able to change the time of day how do we do that and it's super duper simple just head into the pause menu go down into your settings under gameplay you'll see it's the first option right there in front of you time of day there's daytime there's night morning sunrise sunset dusk overcast and then the default time of day based on where it is in the store i am disappointed that unfortunately you can't control the weather in any way i'm hoping that that'll be an additional quality of life fix that's coming in the future especially because there's that one mission in the second act where you're playing as symbiote peter you're chasing after craven going to the church and it's raining at night with the lightning it just looks so freaking cool and i want to jump into photo mode and mess around during that time of day with that weather effect and while you're in your gameplay settings make sure you scroll all the way to the bottom because that's where you're going to see the option to change your tendril color if you want it to be the black tendrils you can do that if you want it to stick to the white tendrils you can do that or if you want it to be based on where you are in the story you can also keep it on that setting you know some people want it to change dynamically depending on where you are in the story mode you know you want it to change from the black symbiote into the white when you get the anti-venom suit but if you want to just stick with the black symbiote tendrils that's totally an option available for you insomniac did mention that we were also going to be getting something called gold and gadgets with new game plus i thought maybe there was going to be something with this that actually changes the way that the gadgets work but it's just kind of a visual change it's literally just making the gadgets golden i don't know what it actually looks like in gameplay it looks kind of cool when you're hovering over it in the pause menu but for the most part this is not something i'm going to be chasing after here's a hidden feature that's in this update that not a lot of people have been able to catch the raimi suit has been updated it now looks closer to the colors that it has in the actual movie you know the amazing spider-man 2 suit went through this treatment when the game first launched some people were thinking that it needed to look a little closer in terms of its colors to what it looks like in the actual amazing spider-man films if you were like myself you know some people who actually got their hands on the review copy for the game it didn't look that good at all before the day one patch but insomniac just kept adding these updates in and fixed the look of that suit and now i think the amazing spider-man 2 suit is pretty much close to perfect the raimi suit now looks a lot closer to how it did in the films and i'm very very happy about that. I also noticed that when you go into photo mode in the game, you can also select the suit health as an option to tinker around with when you're messing around in photo mode. Sometimes in photo mode, the suits look really cool when you're at like 1% health and it's kind of annoying to actually get yourself there 
and then jump into photo mode. Now though, you don't have to worry about that at all. You can just mess with the actual suit health in photo mode so you can check out what it looks like with all the costumes at like 1% health. Another feature that they mentioned they were going to be adding if you're wondering how to do it is action figure mode. Just head over to where you would change your character poses and you'll see action figure mode is right there under the actual character posing. Of course, we are getting the Hellfire Gala suits added in for free. And then of course, there is the Fresh and Fly suit pack that you can buy if you would like to donate to the Game Heads charity if you're in the US. But also in New Game Plus, we have this thing called Ultimate Levels. What that is, is essentially levels beyond the level cap that's in the game. And what you can unlock with Ultimate Levels in New Game Plus are new suit styles for all the symbiote suits that are available for Peter. You get one of the suit styles unlocked immediately for each of them. That is the base symbiote suit that you first get the upgraded symbiote suit and then of course the anti-venom suit and they honestly all look awesome already with the base symbiote suit they actually added the red symbol that is what the symbiote suit originally was designed to look like for the anti-venom suit they actually added a suit style where it kind of looks like a negative zone anti-venom costume which is awesome considering that's exactly how he becomes anti-venom and then so far for the upgraded symbiote suit what i have seen is that you can get an anti-venom suit style thankfully insomniac put out a trailer showing off all the new features that are in this update so we got to see overall all the symbiote suit styles that are going to be in the game for the base symbiote suit alongside getting the red symbol there's also an anti-venom looking version and then one that has a bit of red in there for the upgraded symbiote suit you get the anti-venom suit style a carnage suit style which looks amazing and then also another suit style that again has the red logo and it looks so freaking sick and then for the anti-venom suit you get that negative zone looking suit style you get a red and black suit style style again carnage looking and then you do get one like i was hoping with the inverted colors instead of the white and the black you get a black and white anti-venom suit and my goodness it looks fantastic another hidden feature that's been added into this update that i think is really fun is if you go into new game plus and you can see in your suit tech that there's this new thing called suit tech fusion you might have remembered when you're going through the skill trees in your suit tech sometimes there are moments where you can only choose one option or the other in new game plus with suit tech fusion when you get enough of the tokens that are required you can now just have both upgrades simultaneously this will just add even more to the gameplay it'll add even more to what you'll be capable of doing and it'll make it so you don't have to worry about choosing between these two options anymore a feature that i did not expect to see in marvel spider-man 2 and i'm very happy Happy that they ended up adding it in and again i love a little extra bits like this that they threw in there without even mentioning it you just got to go find it yourself yeah this update is chock full of stuff and you can clearly tell there's a lot of love that went into this and considering everything that had gone down in december considering how busy insomniac must have been I'm glad they finally got this update to us. Yes, some of these features should have been in the game on day one, but at least when they drop an update like this, they do not half-ass it. There are a ton of things to do now in Marvel Spider-Man 2, and I'm very hyped to be jumping back in with New Game Plus, changing the time of day, changing my tendril colors, and so on. Again, I'm still hoping for some extra quality of life fixes here and there. I do want the option to be able to change the weather effects. I would also love if they added in the opportunity to change what kind of webs that you're shooting out, because you know when you're using a symbiote suit you do have the black webs it would be kind of cool if we can just have the black webs regardless of what suit we're using another thing that i would really like and this specifically pertains to miles is the ability to change your web wing colors peter's web wings are just his regular web wings or the symbiote web wings so maybe they can add the option to change those as well for peter but for miles specifically sometimes you can use a suit style that makes the suit blue but he has the red web wings and it looks kind of weird it's especially weird because he does have blue web wings for some suits and you know miles also has the shield suit there's not a lot of color going on there so for that instance i would like if the web wings could just be white i imagine insomniac will still be listening and taking in a ton of feedback from the community and we'll see tons of more patches in the future with more quality of life fixes and maybe even more updates to suits like the Raimi suit. And of course, if we get more updates added into the game, if we get more changes, if we potentially get DLC, you know I got you covered right here on this channel. Keep it locked for all things Marvel Spider-Man 2 right here. Subscribe, turn on those notifications. You don't want to miss another video. With that being said, let me now kick it to you guys. Sound off with your thoughts in the comments section below. What is your favorite new thing in the new Game Plus update? I've been Caboose. I'll see you guys later.